हेलो एवरीवन सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू द लेपलर्स मैनोवर आई होप दिस वीडियो विल वेरी वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू गाइस सो इन द लेपलर्स मैनोवर हाउ वी कैन परफॉर्म इट ऑन द पेशेंट सो फॉर दिस वी हैव अ फोर ग्रिप्स फॉर इन द लेपलर्स मैनोवर वी हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट देर आर फोर ग्रिप्स इन दोज ग्रिप्स द फर्स्ट वन इज द फंडल ग्रिप लेटरल ग्रिप द पेल्विक ग्रिप विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज द पॉलिक ग्रिप एंड द फोर्थ वन दैट इज द सेकेंड पेल्विक ग्रिप आई विल एक्सप्लेन इट फर्दर that how we can perform it so first of all we have to know that why we are doing this maneuver that is the lapler's maneuver so this maneuver have four distinct actions four distinct actions will be there in this maneuver now uh, why these actions will uh, are going uh, why we have to perform these actions to determine the position we have to determine the position of the fetus to determine the birth weight of the fetus inside the uterus and also we have to determine the what is the shape of the maternal pelvis which type of pelvis is there so all this will tell about the laplets maneuver and also it also tells that whether the delivery is complicated or it is a c section delivery so for this purpose this laplet maneuver is very very helpful now we have the first grip that is also known as the fundal grip that is also known as the fundal grip so in the fundal grip what we have to do so in the fundal grip first of all we have to uh, uh, maintain our position in this uh, no, so we have to stand in the right hand side of the patient and after uh, standing in the right hand side of the patient our face is towards the patient face side so the examiner face is towards the face of the patient side and the examiner hands is on the fundus of the uterus as we all know during the pregnancy the fundus of the uterus rises above so here like it reaches till the zygote sternum process so we have to put our both hands together on the fundus of the uterus as i show you in this image like this so after putting the hands on the fundus of the uterus we have to see we have to palpate there and we have to see what is the presentation of fetus there so basically the first grip that is fundal grip it tells about the fetus lie of the fetus and the presentation of the fetus these two things were tell by the fundal grip now after doing this presentation like after doing this grip uh, after finding the presentation of the fetus we have to do the second grip and the second grip which is known as the lateral grip which is known as lateral grip in this what we have to do so lateral means like our hands in the lateral position our hands will be in the lateral position of the maternal abdomen so in this also our position is the same that is the face is towards the face of the patient and our hands is on the but the there is change in the position of our hands in the first part our hands is in the uh, uh um, uterus fun, uh, fundus of the uterus but in this our hands is on either side of the maternal abdomen as i show you in this image that our hands is on the other side of the maternal abdomen and it uh, why we are doing this grip we have to find what is the position of the fetus like where is in which side the back of the fetus is there so we can easily identify the whether it is left occipital transverse position or left occipital anterior position if the if the back is towards the right side then the position is right occipital transverse and right right occipital anterior position so this is the second maneuver that is the lateral grip after the second grip we have to move to the third grip now in the third grip which is also known as the pollic grip it basically uh, this image is given in the exam and they ask like which uh, grip is it so this grip is no, is known as pollic grip or we can also say first pelvic grip or it is the third maneuver so in this also our face is towards the uh, face of the patient but our hand in this position is on the pelvis our hands is on pelvis and basically we are doing this step to find the, whether the head is engaged or not so it explains the head engagement or not so this is the third maneuver after the third maneuver after the pollic grip we have the fourth maneuver in the fourth maneuver which is also known as the second pelvic grip please remember it is known as second pelvic grip and in this grip also we have to uh, it also explains the head engagement or not and this 
grip is like more comfortable for the patient as compared to the first pelvic grip and the first pelvic grip is our third maneuver that is the poly grip so the fourth maneuver is better like more comfortable for the patient than the third maneuver now in this our position is changed in this our face is towards the fit of the patient our face is towards the fit of the patient if our face is towards the fit of the patient and our hand is on the pelvis and it explains the ingored head engagement or not and this is like more comfortable to the patient than the first pelvic grip first pelvic grip means the polyg grip that is the polyg grip and the other is the third maneuver so it is better than the like patient feels more comfortable in this grip than the third maneuver so that's all about the laplets maneuver and please remember in this like uh, if uh, if we are standing near the face of the patient and our face is towards the fit of the patient then our hands will be like this as i show you in this image so that's all about the laplets maneuver i hope you understand it very very carefully thank you bye bye guys see you in the next video